Hi. <clears throat> I was on my way to the church this morning, uh, driving to my office, and I noticed a bumper sticker on the car in front of me. And it said this. It says, I am who I am. No approval needed. Every once in a while, I come back to the topic of judgment and how the Bible tells us that we're not supposed to judge because we will be judged in the same way, the same manner as we're judging others. And I think that's mostly a warning against hypocrisy because I don't think any of us would say that if a friend is in trouble that we wouldn't want to warn them or if somebody is in, is in desperate uh, situation that they got themselves into that we wouldn't try to step in and say, you know what? What you're doing is wrong. What you're doing is destroying you, and you need to step away from it. You need to do things differently in your life. I don't think that's, uh, you know, we can call that judgment, and I guess it is, but uh, certainly the Bible does that. The Bible, all the way through Scripture, we find that kind of situation. I know that um, what I've noticed is that people who are the most concerned about not being judged are those who are most in need of, of forgiveness and grace in their life, and they're most in need of, of being judged, uh, being warned about what uh, sin is doing to their life. And you know, sin is destructive. It always is destructive. That's the evil one, uh, Satan, wants nothing more than to destroy us. I know that's, that sounds old-fashioned. It sounds hellfire and brimstone and we don't talk about those things anymore, but we need to talk about those things. When we look at the culture in which we live today, we recognize and realize that something ain't right. Something is desperately wrong with our culture, and that thing is sin, and it's rampant, it's everywhere, and part of the problem is that people don't want to be judged for what they're doing, and so they just keep on doing it, and everybody sort of stands aside and lets them do it because they don't want to judge. Well, the fact is the scripture has quite a bit to say about sin and about what it does to our lives. In John 14, verse 15, it says, if you love me, you will keep my commandment. And then in Galatians 5, 16, it says, but, it, but I say, walk in the spirit and you will not gratify the desires of the flesh. So these are all warnings in scripture about the difference between walking in righteousness and walking in the world and partaking of, in sin. James 4 verse 17 says, So whoever knows the right thing to do and fails to do it, for him it is sin. Now don't get me wrong, I don't think we should go around judging people. I don't think, you know, certainly I agree with, with, you know, with what Scripture says to us in several points, is, you know, judge not lest ye be judged. And I don't think it's our role to go around judging people. But certainly, motivated out of love, we should try to warn those who are in, uh, in a situation that is destructive. And we realize that if we don't do that, they may continue on down that same path. If a friend of ours was about to get bit by a rattlesnake, wouldn't we want to stop them from, or get them away and say, watch out, there's a snake there? Wouldn't we want to do that? Or if a if a friend is, you know, some people, you know, say, you know, Jim, you, you really need to stop drinking. It's destroying your life. Well, is that judgment or is that trying to protect Jim from, from death? Uh, we might say to a, a, a friend, you know, you know, Callie, you need to be careful about who you date. You've got these men who are in and out of your lives, and you've got to be careful because, it's first of all, it's not good for your kids at home. They see this. They see these guys coming home with you, and it's not good. Now, is that judgmental? You bet you that's judgmental. But it's, a, it's, it's motivated out of love, and it's motivated to try to, uh, to, to try to help that person avoid the consequences of sin. And so that's the struggle that I have, is that although the Bible says don't judge, we need to be somewhat, as the Bible calls it, prophetic in our speech to other people. We need to stand up for what is right and true and good in the life of another person. Otherwise, if we avoid it, that's not love at all. If we, if we avoid that person who's about to be bitten by a rattlesnake or or Jim who's, who's drinking too much, if we just keep our mouths shut, 
is that really love? And so we need to look at this situation very critically and, and realize that God has called us to be a light in a dark world. Part of being light is to send out a warning, send out a beacon of light to the world around us and let them know that Jesus loves them and that God has something far greater for their lives than how they're living right now. Um, I hope that you have a great day today. I'm going to be out of town for a, a few days this weekend and then a couple days the following weekend. And so I'll be in and out of town. But nevertheless, I should be here on Wednesdays, so you'll hear from me again. Talk to you later. God bless.